you're welcome to my channel mindset academy where we want to learn on how to enlarge a given figure now let's take a look at the top right hand side of the screen there's a figure there's a rectangle and we want to enlarge it is that again we want to what enlarge it the first thing you have to do is to replicate that given figure right so let's say that i want to place the figure on this portion here let me put it this way i'll draw a horizontal line right and i'll pick a point on that line let's see this point point a right now we're told that the length is 30 millimeter so i'm going to measure 30 millimeter from 0 to 30. you can see that so i'll thicken it now the next one is the height that is given given and the height here and also height here and the height is given to be 40 and i'm going to measure 40 millimeter upward from 0 to 4 this 40 right now i'm going to thicken it and i'll close it up Close it up too. So this is A, this is B, right? This is uh, C, and this is D. And we want to enlarge it. In this case, we are not told in any ratio. We are only told to what? To enlarge, right? So what I'll do is I'll pick any point close to this here probably at the center or maybe more right i'll just pick the point at any given distance away from here let me say this point you can see that at any given distance now from that point i'll call that point point what point g or point m let me call it point m probably m4 mindset then what will i do i'm going to draw a straight line that is going to pass through all those points so i will target each of those points and i'll draw a line i will draw a line through this point those lines should be what faint line this way so from point n here that i marked i'll draw a line that will go through point c from point m through point c you can see that And from point M through point A, you can see that. And from point M through point B, and from point M to point D, can you see that? So I want to enlarge it. So if I'm enlarging it, what would I do? I'll just pick any point along this line, right? Let's see, I'm picking this point. This should be my new point A. Let me see, I'm picking this point, new point A. So I'll just take my T square or my root, my T square or my C square this way. And I'm going to place it at this point A. So this is the line of A and I want A to be connected. And this is the line of B. So what will I just do? I'll just join line of A to B. Right? I'll just join what? Line of A to B. From line of A to what? To B. From A to what? To B. I mean to C. Right? A to C. Now the next one is, the next one is A is connected to what? To B also. 
So this is the line of B. So I'll use my T square and I'll just connect from A straight down. From A straight down to what? To the line of B. So this point here is point B. You can see that. Now the next thing is from B to, to what? To D. And this is the line of D. So I'll just join a perpendicular line from B to what? To D. This way. From B to D this way. So this point here is my point what? Point D. So I'll just use my rule and connect D to what? To C. This way. You can see that? What I have successfully done here is I have enlarged. Enlarging means you're making this one bigger. You're increasing the length and the width of this. Right? And if I want to reduce, that means I need something that is smaller than this. So let me just say I pick any point here. Any point, I just pick this point here. Let me call it, if this is A, here is A prime, B prime, D prime, and C prime. Right? And I want to reduce this. I'll just pick a point here. Let me call it A prime prime. Right? I want to reduce this size. If this is the original size here. So, I want to reduce the size. So, from A to the next point, A to B. So, B, this is the line of B here, right? So, I'll just take my T square. And I'll move from here. I don't want me to get B. This is A to what? To B. Prime, prime. Right? And the next one, B to what? To D. B to D. This is the line of D. I'll just move this to the line of D. This way. So this is the line of what? The line of D. I'll call it D prime prime. And the next one, A to C. And this is the line of C. I'll move this to that point. You can see that? So I'll call this to be C prime prime. Then I'll just join um D and C together. E prime prime and C prime prime together. So what have I just done? I have just reduced. This is the original object here. This is the enlarged object. And this is what? The reduced object. Is that okay now? So in our next video, we see now how you can increase this into ratios, in scales. It might tell you let the scale be 1 is to 2. That is ratio 1 is to 2. Or let it be what? 2 is to 1. 1 is to 3. So let's see how this works. Right? So if you have found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and also share the video. Thanks for watching.